Good morning, what's up everybody? Um, so today, as you can see, the plywood, I'm going to be turning this trailer into a dump trailer. Um, I think I'm going to permanently have this as my dump trailer and I'm going to start using that one again as my weekly mowing route. Um, not 100% sure, but I might, just because for two main reasons. For one, I'm solo. I don't really need an 18 foot by eight foot, or I can't remember how wide it is. I think it's seven feet. Um, I don't really need a seven by 18 foot trailer when I'm solo. So it will save me, you know, wear and tear on my truck, gas. The weight of this by itself empty is 2,200 pounds. The weight of that by itself with the boards that I have on there now is like 1,200. So we're talking a thousand pounds lighter, which is gonna be great for fuel too. What I was thinking for right now was that I'm just gonna do eight feet up and I'm gonna do 12 feet back, pretty much build a box on this trailer. And that way there I can still get my mower on the, the front or on the, the tail of it. And with the mower on the tail of it, then I can just put the plow on my one of my mowers or use the dump insert that you guys have seen me use before for like picking up brush or sticks or leaves or anything like that. But yeah, I'll, I'll give you guys some updates here as I go. All right, so quick update so far. I've gotten most of the racks off. Actually, I've got all the racks off. I forgot how big this trailer was until I got everything off of there. I got the box out, the racks are all off. Um, the Gorilla lifts are gonna stay on. Just because it's a really heavy gate, if I want to, I can just buy another one for my other gate over there. But yeah, all the racks are off. I'm gonna go through and get the leaf floor out here in just a second. And just try to get all this, try to get all this build up out because the boards are actually gonna sit right in there, which is really nice. Um, just another level of security. And I'm pretty much gonna build it just like I, I did that one. Um, but yeah, so that's it so far. I, this trailer's huge. It's crazy because um, I took everything off it. It looks bigger because remember that box would come out to like like here and then I had the racks and everything just it made it look smaller. But yeah, it's a big trailer. It's going to be a big dump trailer. At any point in time, I'm probably going to end up, end up putting maybe eight, nine hundred pounds, a thousand pounds of leaves on this trailer. So keep that in mind, you guys. Um, I'm also thinking about doing the skid method where I put a skid in the front and I just pull it off. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Let me know what you guys think, uh, if you have any suggestions. I've thought about using the wench um, to like automatically do it, but I honestly don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just gonna use a skid and, and have my lawnmower and just like attach it to my lawnmower then just like have my truck take off. I, I doubt my truck's gonna pull my mower around the yard, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll try a couple things out and see how it works. The wench might be the, the better way to do it. Hang tight. I'll give you an update in just a minute. Well, guys, here it is. I still got to put the the spare tire back on and the fire extinguisher. The paint's still a little bit wet. I just painted it. Um, it's six feet walls. I went six feet high, and you can see two by fours across. Just here in just a second when I get there. Um, I couldn't get into this <laughs> behind this box. So I bought some spray paint and I'm kind of hoping I could be able to hit it with the spray paint. I'll do that. I'll finish that up tomorrow, but um, yeah, it's huge. I, there's plenty of room I could put literally, I could put like the wolf lawn care right on there if I wanted to. It's, it's massive. I'm not a hundred percent done with it yet. Um, but this is the inside of it and I didn't go all the way back and I don't think I plan to. Uh, I did paint the Gorilla Lifts black. I'm gonna hit those up one more time with some spray paint. Um, as you can see, I ran supports, but like I said, it's the clearance is six feet. I'm gonna have to duck when I come in here with my mower, but it's not a big deal. Um, I'm only gonna be using my mower with this temporarily until I get a billy goat, and then I'm gonna put the billy goat on the front up there and I'm gonna shoot it in here. And I'm probably gonna take these off and use the PVC piping to arch it. 
but for now this is what I'm going to use. Um, putting these beams straight across really supported this, these walls and stuff. And then also, I should probably show you, um, on the inside you can see the, the bolts I went with, they're rounded, so they're pretty flush up inside of there. Um, most of the screws from the wood are from the outside in rather than the inside out. Most. There are some, um, like, there is a couple. It's a wet drip spot right there, but it doesn't matter. The inside doesn't matter. Um, this paint is, um, this is Sherman Williams. I think it was called something else. What was it called? I'll show you real quick. Oh, of course I can't see it. There's so much paint on it. So here, this is what it looks like right here. Uh, Everlast. And what I was told is that it is self-cleaning. So the rain will actually clean the, the debris off, the dirt off and stuff like that, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, so every, there's... So there's a two by four here, and then there's one every four feet. Boom, boom, boom. And then each one of these goes straight down into here, and I have it bolted in with a bolt right here that goes through all the way into that two by four. And then on the other side is that rounded bolt that I just showed you guys. And every single two by four has it on the other side as well. That's what gives it a lot of its support. And then, um, one cool thing about this trailer is the these boards actually went i can show you actually instead of trying to explain it you can see it right there see how the board actually goes into the trailer there's like a, a gap right here it's probably um well this is a this is a two by ten so it's about an inch and a half down and the boards actually sit down in there, which is really nice. It gave it a little bit more support. And then they're also flush right up against the wall. And they go straight up in the air. Nothing's bowing, nothing's flexing. Um, I am really curious to see how much weight I added. But I bet you it's probably around 20, 2,400 pounds, 2,500 pounds, somewhere around there. So we still got... 4,000 pounds we can put on it um, It's a 7,000 pound trailer is what the Yeah, because the each axle is 3,500 pounds and then the trailer itself is now with the wood on it probably about 2,500 so I'd say um, 45 is like the actual absolute max so I'd say f about 4,000 is probably the best way to put it so yeah about four thousand pounds of leaves in here which is a lot of leaves <laughs> but um yeah so that was fun took me a while uh i didn't work oh one other thing you guys might might have noticed i don't want to you know see you guys waste your time in the comment section but right here you can see that this one is actually lower than that one and it's not a big deal what happened was like i was just showing you um these boards went an inch and a half down and then this one is sitting right on the board so it's it's perfectly flush it's the same height on the top but that's not a big deal it doesn't matter um it's not really something that's uh too noticeable it, you can only notice from the inside it so it was something i was like whatever it uh it eliminated me having to go and and cut that board that was already at four feet it eliminated me from having to from like cutting it down an inch and a half all the way across but yeah it looks really cool um that i used two gallons of that paint for this um i'm not gonna lie a third gallon might be something nice to use but that's gonna be it for today's video guys if you have any questions just leave them in the comment section below i'll be happy to answer anything that i can um thank you guys so much for watching if you like the video hit it a thumbs up maybe subscribe to the channel if you want to but yeah thanks guys have a good weekend peace